Hello and welcome to the 43rd tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to create and set up a new scene. A scene is essentially like a it's a screen on in your game so you'll have like a main menu screen, you have like a splash layer screen, you might have a setting screen, you're more than likely or you should have a game screen as well, maybe a pause screen, game over, winning screen, so there's sort of different states, that's how you can look at it as well. So we'll be looking at how to create and set up a new scene. This tutorial assumes that you've done tutorial 3. If you haven't, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. And as usual, there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go and open up the project from tutorial 3. Once it's open, you want to go to the myapp.js. Creating a new screen is relatively easily, easy, sorry, not easily, relatively easy. There's a few steps you've got to do. You've got to duplicate this file. That's an easy way to do it because it already exists. Before you do that, before you do that, sorry, there's a couple of tweaks we want to make to the current scene. We want to create just a global variable up here. Var, call it initialized, underscore. Now let's go put the name of the scene that you initialize in other file. I'll do my app and I'll put that equal to no. Okay, I'll put that equal to false. And then down here I'm going to enclose the contents of the on enter function in an if statement which checks if the variable that we declared up top which is initialize my app if that equals false then do this code and then here you obviously want to do initialize equal to true now let's just sort out the formatting and I will explain a few things Okay, that is great. The reason we want to do this is because if you're going from one scene to another, and when you create like a pause scene, you'll do something called pushing a scene on. That'll be covered in a future tutorial where you're pushing a scene on so the current scene isn't deleted. And so when you go to that scene and you want to go back, for example, maybe if you click the resume button, you would do a pop this you would pop the scene off the stack. And the issue without this code would be if you come back into React with obviously would enter this scene again and when he enters you'll reinitialize and he add the, the layer as a child again problem with that is he will have the current layer as a child and then he will add it again on top so you'll have two instances sometimes with text you can tell because like if you click on the text item you'll start hovering but the back one won't uh, so obviously you don't want this so you want this as initialized equals false then you do initialize equals true so when it comes into here it's already false and you would the case is that you would put this to false is when you would go to another scene but you're going to replace this scene or get rid of this scene when you get back into here it no longer technically this so you want to reinitialize it and that's just a bit of housekeeping that we needed to do the next thing we want to duplicate this myapp.js you can't really do it here because these aren't added, like these aren't copied in, these are just folders. So you want to go to the directory, you want to go to resources, you want to go to source, then just duplicate myapp.js and rename it to new scene.js. As you can see, it's automatically appeared. In here, you want to rename basically everything that was essential to the my app.js so we'll get rid of that put new scene and likewise we'll just make sure we've updated this anywhere that needs to be updated and let's just go down slowly and rename stuff so instead of my layer we'll have new layer obviously you probably want names that better represent that actual screen so this might be a game layer or a pause layer 
we'll leave all this as it is for now. The my scene, we obviously want to change that to new scene. Then down here, um, let's say my layer, you don't want my layer, you want new layer. And there you go, that is pretty much everything changed. So that is it, that's how you set up a new scene. In the next tutorial, we'll be looking at how to actually push a scene on. I briefly mentioned it before, but we'll be looking at that and you'll actually see this all in action. That's for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this one.